in a game mixing virtual and reality. It's been a really fun experience just walking up and down the city. The effects of the extremely popular Pokemon Go game are all around. And there was literally like 15 of us walking around catching different Pokemon at Washington Park just now. These Pokemon players are all over town trying to catch more than 140 pocket monsters. Oh, oh, yes. And business owners want to catch as many customers as they can. You're trading your tie right now. Right here? Yes, it's right there. Corey Ward runs marketing for Tom and Chi. The Cincinnati location on Court Street is next to a Pokey Stop. And I can make it spin around. A place where players collect much needed items in the game, like Pokeballs used to catch Pokemon. Ward is using what's called a lure in the game to bring customers in as they play. It seemed to be working today. I guess it attracts a different Pokemon to this area, and then people can kind of come hang out, collect their Pokemon, and then come into the store. If they collect anything, they can get a free drink. The store is offering specials to players who come by. Yeah, they fix them at the end of the block still. Right? Noticing the effects, especially when we have lures up, people that just stop by to like swipe it will come in and sit down with us and have some food. Pokemon players are also welcome at the Mellow Mushroom in Hyde Park, also a Poke Stop. It's more people that come in. Almost everyone's playing it. No specials there yet. Nonetheless, the game has people talking and walking a lot. Oh, there's another pincer on the radar. Businesses hope their plays will pay off. If you're running it every hour, it costs you about $1.19 an hour. So, all things considered, that's pretty cheap advertising. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha! He got it. According to the company that makes Pokemon Go, the Pokestops and also gyms where players can battle their Pokemon are typically places with public art, monuments, and historical markers. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.